Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer and thank you so much for watching. Today, question about heaven and it's from the lovely Ali Fitzgerald. Don't know where this person resides, however, the question is for people with severe mental disorders or people that have absolute um, loss of their abilities um, that distorts their way of thinking. How does the life review work for these sorts of people? Very good question, Ali. Because right now around the world, let's go there, who hasn't got mental health disorders? I'm swearing my lungs out virtually every day because I'm feeling the stress of other people. Now, I will go there something with me personally. I'm letting my natural hair grow out. If you've looked at older videos of me, I've got blonde hair. I've decided to go au naturel. But look what's happening here. Do you see this? That there? That's a big grey streak. <laughs> I've got to laugh about it. Look, you can see it. It's a big grey streak. You can see the curl. And then that's where it's the blonde. So I'm going to be Morticia Adams. And I don't mind it, okay? I'm pretty confident in my own skin that I've got now the Morticia Adams grey streak coming into my hair. But let's just go there. Mental health. You know, the statistics in Australia four years ago, it was one in four. So it was 25% had a mental health disorder. When COVID hit, it went up to 100. Every single person in Australia, and I'm pretty sure it's now six in four. Six in four people have now got co have now got stress disorders. <laughs> Come on, we've got to laugh at this in a sort of raise our vibration type of way so then we sort of manage it and see some sort of sanity through this situation. So I look firstly at the two gentlemen that live down the street from me. They are high care, very, very intellectually handicapped men. Okay. They don't have much capacity in the elect, um, intellectual department. Okay. I love these two men and I'll defend them to the ends of the world because they are such beautiful souls. Okay. So I look at what they do. And then we look at people who struggle every day with depression, anxiety, and other disorders. You know, there's so many different disorders out there. Some people just don't want to eat, so they get anorexia. That's a form of stress, right? So there's a lot of different ways of stress showing in our world, right? You don't want to know what I was like last night. Anyway, so when we have all this stress in our life, and we've got two options with it. One, we allow it and we live in that frequency. Or we do what I did last night and I shut it off because I will not go there. I do not allow that sort of energy in my own existence or anyone else in my household. So last night, let me just explain. I've been having internet problems for three and a half years now. They said that they were going to send out an NBN box last week. Three days I've been sitting here waiting for the NBN technician. So when I rang last night, I was on the phone for half an hour. I got a woman, and I'm going to say her name. Her name was Anne from Telstra. And she was the nastiest little piece of work. She ended up hanging up on me. She would not believe that I had had troubles. She kept saying, oh, yeah, like that happens. And I said, well, it is. It's happened to me. Oh, yeah, you're fabricating. No wonder you're not doing this because you haven't done that. And I said, excuse me, you haven't even looked at my file yet. So her issues are her issues, right? I don't want to get attached to what she was going through in any way or form. But ultimately, I only want to look at how I operate as a person. There are some very, very sad people on the planet at this point. And I am trying my utmost to help all of you. Everyone has some sort of stress. Look at my, look at this, the blonde streak in my hair coming through. Okay. 
let them just go and grey. I don't care. <laughs> I'm evolving. See how I look at the funny side of things, okay? So with regards to the two guys that live down the street from me, Maxwell and Raymond, beautiful, beautiful men. And then I look at people who are going through some really hard times in their existence. You know, I've... Um, I've been in mental health systems. I've got chronic PTSD myself. And I've also been fortunate enough to where I go to mental health facilities and I see the struggles these people in their face as well. And I see that how it implodes around them. And when we look at our lives, we are here for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. And if we can just break through those barriers and see a crack of light when our days are dark, that is all I ever ask for anyone. I suggest to everyone, you don't look at what you're doing next week. Think about what you're doing in five minutes' time. What are you going to be doing in two minutes' time? Because in two minutes' time, I'd like you to say, I appreciate the first thing I look at. And for me, it's my computer mouse. So we talk about our computer mouse or whatever it is that you pick up. And you say why you're appreciating of it. Well, I appreciate that it's a nice little handle. On, it's got little indentations on the side so my thumb and my fingers fit in there nicely so I don't get RSI. Another one. I appreciate that it's got a little light that comes on every now and again to show me that it's working. Sometimes it comes up. I appreciate that it's got this little thing on the top that I can scroll through my pages on. I appreciate that it only takes the cheapest type of batteries. So that, that's at about four or five. I appreciate that it's red. <laughs> Hello, because I'm a red girl, right? So even our mouse, we could think of so many reasons why we appreciate it. The more we get into that mindset of where we say, I appreciate my bottle of water. I appreciate my pen. I appreciate my front door. How many people don't even appreciate their front door and what that represents in regards to security and protection? Okay, so have a look around your house. That's the first exercise for today. Look around your house and as you look at ornaments, clothing, anything in your house, say to yourself, I appreciate that because. That's a really good way of breaking out of that barrier when we have too many stresses going on in our own lives, okay? So in regards to people who are chronically depressed, etc., and mental health, how do they go in their life review? I look at the two boys down the street as well in this category with all mental health disorders and physical and mental disabilities there because they're all classified under the one banner. When we do our life review, now this is just not my opinion, it's based on all the tens of thousands that I've read. Everyone judges the intention or the thoughts on what we do to others. So even though we don't physically do those thoughts, that thought creates a ripple of awareness, which is consciousness, which is energy, which is emotional attachment. So last night when I was on hold for 45 minutes, then I get that really not nice lady. She hung up on me and then I spent another half an hour in a queue again I was sitting there thinking, what the hell can I blow up or destroy today in my stress? So thankfully, I wasn't directing that at anything or anyone in particular. But how often do we just pick up something and throw it against a wall out of that anger? So I must go there. The first thing is anger is always a reflection of something else going on so if ever you do get angry just know anger does not ever exist without something else causing it so you've always got to look at what causes the anger okay 
A sidestep. A guy gets angry because he's stuck in traffic. So you ask yourself, well, why, why are you angry? Because my boss is going to sack me if I'm late again. So I've got to get there. So they get so angry in traffic. Well, why were you nearly sacked last time? Well, because I slept in. So why did you sleep in last time? Well, because I went out drinking all night. Okay, so what's happened this time? Well, I was at the pub until 11 o'clock and I got four hours sleep and now I'm frustrated because I've got to go to work. Oh, see how we go to that depth of analysing why we get angry. So he wasn't angry that he was stuck in traffic. He was angry because he only had four hours sleep because he would prefer to go out drinking all night. Huh. So see how we work it out? So that was just a little sidestep there, guys, a little bit of development. Okay, so we work it out why we get angry, okay? Because it's we don't just get angry. It's an emotion, but it's always a trigger emotion, okay? So getting back to this mental health and the life review. So last night when I was thinking about throwing something through a wall, if I had done that to something, just say I got this and I'm not going to do it because I love you. But if I had the intention of throwing my mouse at the wall, I then have to heal that in my life review. That intention of hurting something. In my book, Five Years in Heaven, when I'm talking about the things that I healed in my life review, I talk about the glass window that I smashed. Because even though in the glass window is a... Um, non-living entity like we would think it still has a consciousness because glass has a conscious awareness to it so I still have to heal and see from the perspective of the glass window what it was like to be smashed so we do have to go through those everybody that does something deliberately has to heal those actions so the big question I want you to all leave with today We've got two options. We can do deliberate acts where we hurt others or hurt things, throwing them to through the wall. But it's deliberate actions. If it's accidental, we don't have to do that. It's accident. Accidents happen. But if we do something deliberately to hurt, do you want to go through that tenfold of pain when we're doing our life review? Or... Do you want to do deliberate actions of kindness that are also tenfold in heaven? Someone said to me the other day, she said, what's the purpose of your channel, Linda? And I said, I've been to heaven. I know what it's like there. I want everybody now to start acting heavenly or angelic. You know, if you look at my other YouTube channel that's still out there, it's called Angelic Intent. I've got videos on there. I might bring them over one, one point. But Angelic Intent with Bon Jovi's Keep the Faith was the song at the front. I was trying to teach people how to be angelic now. So when we do our life review, it's not a bad situation. I would much prefer tenfold of happiness to tenfold of grief, right? So these people with mental health, it's in the same boat as everybody because I know a lot of depressed people but they're still kind they're still loving and they would never hurt anything else or anyone else so it all comes down to our intentions of whether we're just nasty to other things or people so that's relevant irregular um, irrelevant of whether you've got mental health, depression or any other debilitating diseases or illnesses that could affect your um, intellectual capacity, right? So at the end of the day, ask yourself the two options. Do I want to have a life review where I'm reliving all the nasty things I've ever done or do you want to have a life review where it's an absolute blessing because, you know, I did process a lot of the memories that where I made people feel good about themselves. The day I bought flowers for people on my 21st birthday, I relive that. You know, it was my 21st birthday and I had a party. Obviously, mum and dad threw me a party for my 21st and I bought flowers for my aunties. So they, didn't, they weren't expecting to get anything on my 21st, were they? Ha, ha, ha. So I relived those memories and I felt that appreciation and that gratitude. 
from my aunties that day. So that's what I'm talking about here. How we heal the bad stuff that we've done, we can do that. And that, everybody, is fodder for another video. So stay tuned because I'll probably get it done tomorrow. And that one will be called How to Heal Before Our Life Review. Hope this one's brought some awareness to you. I like what I see. If you wish to donate towards my cause, um, below is my PayPal link. Any books that you wish, please don't buy them off Lulu. Email me and I'll give them to you for free. I try to be a generous person, yeah? Okay, everybody have a great day. Love you all. Talk soon. Bye.